Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be talking about reticles. In case you guys didn't know, you are able to unlock several different types of reticles depending on which particular optic you use. If you use a reflex sight, you're going to have certain challenges you need to complete as you go through those different reflex sights. There also are challenges for the holographic sights as well as the sniper sights. It just depends on which ones you go with. In today's video, we'll be specifically focusing on the reticles related to the reflex sights as well as the holographic. We'll kind of come to a conclusion on which one is the best. Initially, you would think that it's pretty cool that you have these different options, but as you look at some of these, there are clearly some that are better than others because as you look at some of them, you can see that a lot of them have this little fuzzy area next to them that can actually make it a little bit more difficult to see your target. So right here, this one is a pretty straightforward red dot sight, which most people are comfortable with. This one, you can see that it ends up being this little triangle or chevron type shape, and it has a little bit of fuzziness to it. As we go through, look at the fuzziness on this particular one. And then right here, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put up a side-by-side of what it looks like in the game as you can see right here but obviously what it could look like if it was actually done the right way in my opinion obviously this is a little bit more realistic but these effects this blurred effect is going to be even more pronounced when you actually are in a live match with the light glaring on your weapon as we go to this next one i don't know who would ever use this ugly atrocious reticle but obviously there's people who probably enjoy it right here you can see the fuzziness around all that well as this one look at all the little fuzzy green areas this one you can see the fuzzy red areas the bottom dot is perfectly fine but as you get into the second and third dot of the higher two ones you can see they're blurry as well right here the dots on the outside not so blurry that little chevron in the middle is a little bit blurry right here even this one has a little bit of blur but overall we're going to actually come to the conclusion that more often than not, the blue dot sight is probably going to be the way to go. Obviously, the red dot's pretty good, uh, but as you will notice, as you, when you play, the contrast of red on top of a red enemy can make it a little bit trickier to see where your actual reticle is. Versus with the blue, there is no confusion when it is actually hovering over the enemy character. Also, in case you guys didn't know, if you move on your right analog stick or maybe however you would move for aiming, on pc you can see it moves the reticle you can't really trust this particular view of the weapon and i'll give you the perfect example why obviously we know that's kind of what the reflex sight looks like but if we go down over here and we go to the monocle reflex sight obviously we know that this one should have some curve to the right and we know what it looks like in game i'm going to show off all those lenses i mean so you can have a better idea and make the opinion for yourself Obviously, I'm going to have preferences. You're going to have preferences. And at the end of the day, you really want to go ahead and choose whatever works best for you. And I'm going to make some recommendations along the way. As you can see right here, this is a reflex sight that has the red dot still. It does not have the monocle. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that in game as I go ahead and talk about how these things could be improved upon. So what you're going to see on the screen right now is me going through all the individual optics as well as the different reticles. First off, we're going to go ahead and start off with the Cronin LP945 Mini Reflex. And we're going to end up going through all the different optics. But the main thing we're going to focus on here specifically is the reticle. Because obviously, if you're choosing a specific optic, the primary thing you're going to worry about is how the actual optic looks and how much of the screen it covers. So the first one we had a chance to take a look at was the default red dot sight. Now we're gonna go and look at the one called carrot, which is basically a red chevron. And the main thing we're looking for is that fuzziness and how blurry these reticles get when you're actually aiming down sight. This next one is a green add point. As you can see, it kind of has a little bit of fuzziness, but this one isn't all that bad, but you can see it does limit some of the visibility. And this next reticle is called sunspot. And you can see this one is clearly fuzzy. Obviously, if you kind of move it around a little bit, it's kind of hard to even see the head through the actual optic. Obviously, if you know where the guy's at, you're probably going to be able to line up the shot. But if you're aiming for a window and you need to be as accurate as possible, you want to make sure you can land those shots with clarity. And this next one is another yellow one called the Golden Bell. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, but this one is not a great reticle, in my opinion. This next one is called the Standard Fair, and this one is actually a pretty clean reticle. It has kind of an open center. So if you're a fan of this type of reticle, go ahead and go for it. The next one up is called Perfect Balance. And this is pretty much a green dot in the middle with two green lines on the edges. 
This one has a little bit of fuzz to it, but overall this one's pretty clean. It doesn't look like it blocks any of the light when you're going through, but I think this one in some lighting, there's not enough contrast for the actual reticle to stick out. So next up is Division. You can see how this one looks, pretty much a dot in the center with a couple lines coming out of it. Overall, simple and clean, but not as clean as a regular red dot sight. So with this next one, it's called the Flare. And as you go from the different contrast, you can see it's a little bit harder to see this reticle. So I would advise against using this one. Even though it can be pretty clean on some of the darker maps, in general, it's gonna be a little bit harder to see that reticle. The next reticle up is called the Green V or the Green 5, however you wanna look at it, if it's a Roman numeral. And this one is basically a chevron with a few different dots on the side. You can see how it lines up. This one's a fairly clean one, but again, I don't think it has enough contrast in certain scenarios. And the last one for the reflex sight is actually the blue dot sight. And you can see that there is some significant contrast Especially if you were aiming at an enemy with red above their head, the blue will stand out pretty significantly. And I think since it's a hair darker than the green one, it just stands out that much more. So now we'll go ahead and go through each of the individual optics for the holographic sights. And you can see these ones zoom in quite a bit. This one is actually the first default one. We're using the PBX Hollow 7 sight. Next one up is called the downward curve. And the only reason you choose a holographic sight over a reflex sight Besides just general preference, as you can see, there's a little bit of zoom in when you actually use these particular optics, which in theory would make it just a little bit easier to hit targets at range. This one is called the Witch, and you can see this one is a horrible reticle. You can see how blurry it is when you aim down sight. It's not good at all. And this one's called the Islet, and you can see it's just a little bit larger, so I don't think it causes that same blurry effect, even though this one is a little bit fuzzy. And that's going to go ahead and bring us to the Summoner, which is basically a chevron in the center of a circle. And this one is not perfectly in the center. Obviously, the chevron's a little bit lower, so the tip is actually in the center where you need to hit your shots. Again, this one's not as bad as that red one, but still a little bit blurry. The next reticle for the holographic sights is called the Orbit Reflex Sight. And as you can see, this one is a lot sharper than that original red one. It doesn't have nearly as much blur. So if you like that red style, I'd highly recommend this one. Next one up is called Close Quarters. This one has that yellow chevron in the middle of a few other lines. This one's a fairly clean one. You can see there is enough contrast because these lines are just a little bit thicker than the previous one we saw with those yellow dots. Next one up is called Sunrise. And you can see with this one, it does have a little bit of blurriness to it. And there are a lot of different elements. So I'd recommend probably not using this one. The next reticle we'll be taking a look at is called Evil Eye. And this one, you can see it's almost identical to the one we just saw with a lot less dots and it is a little bit sharper. So it's not a bad option when you're looking for reticles. And last but not least for the holographic reticles is the blue dot sight. And right here you can see it is fairly clean, almost identical to the reflex one we saw earlier, except obviously with this optic, you're gonna be zoomed in slightly. So now we've had a chance to see what all the reticles look like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go through all the different reflex sites as well as the holographic sites. So you can see that back to back comparison and make a judgment call on which optic is best for you. First up is that AIMOP reflex sight. And this one you can see is fairly clean. It doesn't take up a lot of the screen, but as we compare it to some of the other optics, it does have a little bit bigger of a blind spot. Next up is the operator reflex sight. And as you can see, this one takes up a little bit more of the screen. So probably not the top option for reflex sights. Next up is the Cronin LP945 mini reflex. And this one you can see is fairly clean, a little bit smaller version of that AIMOP reflex sight. So overall the cleanest one we've seen so far. Next up is the G GI mini reflex and this is one a lot of the pro players are using because you can see that blind spot is almost non-existent because they're just a little bit of a thin frame that goes around the optic and one thing to point out is a lot of people are concerned about having that slower aim down sight time but generally with these optics you're not going to even notice the difference usually most of those penalties are reserved for a lot of those sniper scopes as well as the hybrid scopes and the thermal scope the optic that we're looking at now is called the monocle reflex sight and overall i think this one's fairly clean it does have a little bit of clutter but for the most part the optic is fairly open next up this one's called the Viper Reflex Sight. You can see this one's fairly clean, almost identical to one of the earlier sites that we looked at. I believe it was the Cronin LP945. That's very similar to that one. And as we get into this next optic that you can see right here, it's called the Solo Zero Optic Mini Reflex. And as you can see, it looks a lot like that GI Mini Reflex. It's just a little bit different in shape. And the main reason they have so many optics that look similar 
is because they're from different countries. Some might be from Russia, some will be from the US, and some will be from another country. And that's gonna go ahead and bring us into the holographic sites. And the first one up is going to be the Corp Combat holographic site. And you can see that this one takes up a little bit more of the screen, but with that little bit of a zoom in, it can make it a little bit easier to spot the target. Next up is the APX5 holographic site. And this one's one of my favorites earlier on because it is very clean. It does have a nice clean circle with not too much of a blind spot. And the last holographic site we'll go ahead and take a look at is the PBX Hollow 7 site. And this one's a fairly clean one as well. It kind of looks like those GI mini reflexes but in a holographic form. So now that you've seen them all, it's really gonna be up to you whether or not it's worth to grind out these specific reticles because it is definitely a grind, but it's not all that hard. Most of them pretty much involve you getting 200 kills with one particular optic, then 50 headshots, switching to another optic and repeating that process three or four times until you're able to get to the final challenges, which is to get three consecutive kills and then finally 500 kills with that particular optic. So hopefully at this point, you've already kind of identified what is the best reticle and the best optic for you. If you did enjoy the video in any way, please do me a favor hitting that like button. If you're brand new to the channel and you'd like to find your way back for more Call of Duty content, I would definitely consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.